show is. There's nothing to review on Rampage. Right. It opens with a Claudio promo that I will sum up for you in 10 seconds. Claudio said, who wants to challenge for my ROH title? Dustin Rhodes said, and this is a quote, I will. And Claudio says, you've been wrestling a long time, never been world champion. Let's go. What do you want me to say? I like that uh, Dustin just wanders around backstage with his face paint on. Sure, of course he does. I actually believe that. Swerve got the win with a JML driver. There you go. You got nothing to say about this match? What's this stand for? <laughs> the JML driver? Everyone's trying to come up with uh, ideas of what it might stand for. I don't think it's jerking my leg. Oh, my gosh. The reality is that Clayton misses a punch. Hook chokes him out with red rum. Ding, ding, match ends. What do you want me to say? The Ass Boys and their dad have been, like, a thing forever. The Ass Boys will find a different mentor, the booty man, perhaps, and then they'll do a <laughs> six-man. Please, God, no. The standby match is Buddy Matthews versus Pentago. It goes a minute. Matthews pins him with a pump handle angle slam or something. What do you want me to say? Penelope Ford versus Athena. Athena won with the old face. What was the point of this? What do you want me to say? I'm going to make people mad because I made this comparison. This reminded me of TNA. Because oh. they used to do shit like this where... It's felt like a TNA show, honestly. They decide that we need to care about something, and so they introduce it that day. They're pushing these damn wings so hard, so they can be broken on, like, three minutes later. This was a TNA show. This really was. What is the best flavor of wings? Those metal ones of Athena's that got smashed by a sledgehammer. <laughs> if you could form a dream tag team and give them an insider name... What would it be? An insider name. I team Brian Danielson and Takesh and call them Soup Dragons. <laughs> God. <laughs> that's, great. that's a great band. <laughs> I get it. And how come my entire head's out of frame? What's going on with this camera? Well, it's getting too big. No, that's not it at all. It's been like this forever. Granny says, combine two random wrestlers to form a tag team and name them. Okay, so we could, we could have Adam Page, Ethan Page, yes. Diamond Dallas Page, yes, yes, yes. and Page. Right. And then the stable would be called Book. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> oh, I like this. I like this. Oscar from Men on a Mission and Brian Myers. Oscar Myers winners. That is a good one. Okay, I got one. Oh. Riddle and Theory. What would their okay. name be? Uh, Fiddle. Riddle and Theory. <laughs> is that the punchline? <laughs> you know nothing? she makes good points. You know, that's a joke Paisley would tell. Seamus pins Orban, right? <laughs> Corbin. Corbin, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Sir. <laughs> Can't read my writing. So that's what happened there. <laughs> I waited all that time. Okay. Should be your catchphrase. More stories should end with So that. that's what happened there. That's what happened there. I was biding my time by watching guys throw punches, and I was rating them on a one to four scale. A one to four? Yeah, I don't like to do a lot of math. So um, anyway. Uh, you have five fingers, Craig. You can do five. Yeah, anyway. Um, Mabel. Holy cow, that's a bad punch. That's a zero. Yeah. So Kevin why don't you Nash. do one to five then? <laughs> Brian, it's my scale. Shut up. Zero, one, anyway. two, three, four. That's five. We watched AEW Dynamite. A great but very weird show. So I was having a pretty bad day for various reasons, but I was in a bad mood. And then this match happened. And my mood vastly improved. A beautiful wrestling match. Tony Schiavone is interviewing a weeping Thunder Rosa. People don't believe she's faking an injury. Mm hmm but there are people who do believe that she does not want to do this job. Yeah. And she, but she is injured. She's for sure injured. That's not in any way a storyline. She's and I knew that a while ago and it was denied. Now all of a sudden it's she's hurt and can't wrestle. The crowd did not pop for Oh man. Uh with the caster's line about a talent meeting. Yes. Deadly, deathly silence for that line. No one knew. And this happened many times in wrestling history, where you make an insider reference and it's just met with absolute utter silence. It's always embarrassing. We're not going to kill you. We're going to murder you. <laughs> yes, that's what he said. Okay. <laughs> you know these are largely the same. Very close. Yeah. This was like a two-minute UFC main event, where you know anything can happen at any time, and... One mistake, one slip up, one twist of fate can screw you. That's exactly what happened to Punk here. So no bullshit. Moxley bent, pinned him. Moxley beat him. John Moxley is the undisputed 
AEW World Heavyweight Champion. It's fine if they wait until the last Dynamite to announce this main event. I think that in general, as a general rule, you should know the pay-per-view main event weeks in advance. But rules are made to be broken. Every now and then, it's okay to do something different and memorable. It was like a highlight reel that went 30 minutes and never ran out of highlights. He eyeballs Kip Sabian, tears the box off. It's not Kip. <laughs> this was fucking ridiculous. So I, so we're supposed to believe he's a prisoner? I guess. Why didn't he take the fucking box off himself? Don't know. <laughs> this didn't make any sense. This show was awesome. I stand by that it was still weird, and there was a lot going on, and like a month's worth of storylines done in two hours. So it's shot like a normal talk show, but there's also an inset picture-in-picture camera that is one camera focused on Grayson Waller 100% of the time. <laughs> that was awesome. What the fuck is Javier Bernal? <laughs> Some guy named Javier Bernal runs into Hank. Hank? Who the fuck is Hank? What, what's going on? Did I record a different show? Did I turn the channel in accent? I'm lost. Who is Blair Davenport? I thought, well, god damn, that's a great question, actually. Enemies of the air, beware, I'm Blair Davenport. Now, awful. <laughs> All sorts of awful. Many levels of deep, deep awful. And then they have to go to Wes Lee, who has that creeped out. Wes, a grown Wes man is creeped out that he saw another guy hanging from his fucking feet. Yep, it's Wes Lee and... Katana Chance! Katana Chance! And uh, when he came back and they kissed, I thought, man, fucking I'd kiss that guy right now. If I were her, the highlight of her career by miles and miles was Index. Time for uh, Cora Jade Theater. Mackenzie asks her about her controversial win over uh, Roxanne Perez. If the roles were reversed, and Roxanne ddt me on this, everyone would have said, Cora Jade deserved it. We always knew Roxanne was better. But because I did it, oh, my God, it's the worst thing in the world. Highway robbery. And for all the guys who have never been on a date with a girl in their entire life, who are tweeting their little fingers away about how it should have been a disqualification. I've got something to say. Why don't you go on a date with a girl? And no, your, your little inflatable dolls don't count. I'm better than Roxanne. That was an incredible reenactment. They forgot that part about the lights out match where you turn the lights off and then turn them back on. They didn't they fact left them off. Dim the lights and left it half lit for the entire match. I mean, I thought the actual match itself, I thought they did a good job and I thought the finish was actually very good the way that they set it all up. But uh, the lights kind of killed the whole thing for me. A fine two nights of wrestling action, everybody. A lot of fun, a lot of weirdness. There was definitely a lot of weirdness.